paid 30 and took an offer for $1,500. Bought it on Whatnot and sold it on Mercari. Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, we are gonna talk about big money bolos. What's a bolo? It's an item to be on the lookout for, an item you can hopefully buy low and sell for a profit. In this video, I'm gonna tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. I posted this in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group and invited everybody in the group to share their best bolo in the last 90 days. And they sure did. We are gonna check them out here. Some of these are gonna be big money and there may be some that might catch you just a little off guard that you may not have picked up and you may have walked past, which is always a great thing to know. Thank you guys so much for being here. I'm Courtney, also known as Bolo Buddies, and let's get started. The first item says, not big money, but paid a dollar at the Goodwill and took an offer of $34.99 after 10 days. If you don't know the word anthropomorphic, add it to your reseller voc vocab list now. And that word, I always forget it. I know what it means, but I always forget it. So it's anything I believe that has like a face. So like a frog with like a person face or like this is a, um, you are my sunshine, sun face, tapestry, throw pillow. See, it has a face. Anthropomorphic. Anthropomorphic. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I don't even know what I'm talking about. See, I always have to look it up and I can never remember the word. Anthropomorphic. That's what it looks like. And she sold it for $34.99. All right, this one comes from Bolo Buddies member. That means she is a member of my Bolo Buddies YouTube channel and she is level two and she gets perks. What does that mean? That means I'm gonna shout out her eBay store or her YouTube channel and I'm gonna link it down in the description. So after the video, make sure you go down and check out the description for YouTube channels and eBay stores because these people are big money bolo finders with awesome reseller content and amazing eBay stores. She said, I bought this early Jim Shore Santa at a thrift store while visiting my sister in Minnesota. I paid a dollar for it and took a best offer of 70 bucks. The buyer paid shipping. It is a Jim Shore... Um, Figure, figurine, and it's uh, signed from the 90s, hard to find. And um, that one comes from, oh, she didn't put it. Is it Leo's Treasures? I think it's Leo's Treasures. I'm going by memory. I have so many members now that I have to try to keep it all straight, but I'm pretty sure it's Leo's Treasures. And this is what her store looks like. And if it's not Leo's Treasures, it's whatever I pop up here. I'll find it. All right. Pulled out of a dumpster, had a $15 estate sale sticker on it, took a best offer. The solds are all over the place. I've sold 13 items this week for $4,500. This sale set it off. Oh my goodness. Pulled it out of a dumpster with a $15 estate sale sticker on it. So I don't know if it didn't sell at the estate sale. Like we can figure out all kinds of stories for this. Like the estate sale clean out guys didn't know what it was worth. It sold for $2,000. So down in the comments, I want to hear your story about this camcorder. Is it a camcorder? I don't know what it is. Palard Bolex 1951 Switar 25 millimeter five lenses bundle. It's some sort of like maybe wind up camera or tell me, tell me about this in the comments. Somebody make me up a story. I need a really good story. This thing sold for 2000 bucks. Okay. This one comes from piece of scrap and she is a new Bolo Buddies member and this is her YouTube channel. Definitely check her out. She paid $3 and 75 cents at the Goodwill and sold on promotion for 140 33 plus $9 shipping. She said buyer used 10% off coupon and received an additional $14 discount. It is a Vince 100% cashmere sweater, medium neutral beige, boiled pullover funnel neck. Now she is a, she sells clothing. So you're not going to get clothing from my channel. You will get clothing from her channel and check out those keywords. I mean, boiled and funnel neck. I mean, come on. I just learned something new. I won't remember it. 
and I don't want to sell clothes, but holy cow, if you're like into clothes, piece of scrap right here. This one comes from Mom Knows Treasures, and this is her YouTube channel. Paid 38 on Whatnot and sold in a week on Mercari for $166. So bought it on Whatnot and sold it on Mercari. I love it. A day to remember for those who have heart. It is, I believe, a record. And if you guys are not buying or selling on Whatnot, definitely check it out. If uh, you want to buy, there's a link down below. You'll get $15 to shop if you join with my link, but make sure you follow Bolo Buddies because I am selling on Whatnot and I am loving it. And also, um, if you want to sell on Whatnot, which it's super fun, you do have to build up your following. Does it help if you have social media following? Yes, it does. Can you still build a following? Yes. Somebody the other day um, had made the comment that, you know, it's only the YouTubers that do well on whatnot. I don't believe that that's true. I think that anybody can build anything up. They just have to do it. And yes, I do have my viewers coming over and I am able to show the things that I'm bringing to whatnot by using my YouTube channel. And yes, that does help me. But you guys, I worked from, my, from the bottom and worked my way up. I didn't like get here overnight. I've been at this for over four years on YouTube. Four years. Do you know how long it was before I actually started to get a following and starting to get started to get ad revenue that actually paid for my time? Like still, I'm not even sure if I was putting all of my time into eBay that I'm putting in YouTube. Like, I don't know. It's it's definitely, YouTube is a lot of work. It's hard work. And there's a lot of people that say to me, I want to do YouTube. And I'm like, you totally should because it's awesome and it's fun. But please keep in mind that the time that you spend on YouTube is going to be time away from your eBay store your other platforms, your whatnot, whatever else you're doing. So now I'm doing whatnot. So now I'm like rebalancing. You know what I mean? I haven't listed for like a week on eBay and I'm like going through listing withdrawal. Like I love to list and I finally got my fix, my listing fix. It isn't it weird that like I love to list. Most people are like, I hate listing. I absolutely love listing, but I was really hitting whatnot hard and I love it. And, um, so yeah, I'm finding the balance, okay? So um, anyway, if you wanna sell on Whatnot, there is a different link down below and you can use that link to, um, if you click on that, it's a referral link that will take you to a page to sign up to sell and it tells them that I sent you and you may get accepted quicker if you use that link. So that's down below also. This one comes from Abigail's Artful Abode, who is also a Bolo Buddies member. And she said, bought this for uh, this 1950s bottle brush reef for $2 at a garage sale and sold it for $65 on, uh, is that Etsy or is that eBay? I think it's Etsy. Looks like it's on Etsy. She's a big time Etsy seller. So it's a bottle brush reef. That is awesome. This one comes from Piece of Scrap, and oh my goodness. Uh, these are Crocs, you guys. $4 at the Goodwill, sold on promotion for $77.01. If this doesn't make you want to go follow this girl, I don't know what will. Star Wars Crocs, men's size four, women's size six. <laughs> How awesome is that? This one comes from The Quiet Thrifter. This is her eBay store. I bought this for $2 at a garage sale. I had no idea what it was, but I thought it was beautiful folk, or folk art. I put it on a 10-day auction and it sold for $66 plus the buyer paid shipping. It's a vintage hand-painted Mexico folk art wood. I don't know what that word is. San Miguel Archangel. This is what it looks like. Paid 30 and took an offer for $1,500. This one comes from 360 Vintage Co. Vintage Co. And this is what it looks like. It is a vintage um, Magnolene Motor Oils double-sided metal sign. $1,500. Paid $30 for it. Oh my goodness. And he makes beautiful jewelry. So definitely go check out his store. Paid $80 from Donatella Bottolino's YouTube auction and sold overnight for full price. It is a Hallmark Snowman Bell Choir Synchronized Music Lights Porcelain 
figurines in a box, they are synchronized. That usually is a good indicator that it's a bolo. $250. So he bought it at a YouTube auction on Donna Bottolino's YouTube channel. You guys hear me talk about Donna all the time. I buy from her. You hear about her in my what solds. Here is another person who bought from her and sold the item for big money. Wow. That is awesome. Got the masks from Dollar General. Wait, no, I'm sorry. What? Yeah. Got the mask from Dollar General Halloween clearance for around $2 a piece and had two total. Sold them both for $37.99 plus shipping. I am like in shock right now. Got five sets of the Christopher Radko lights off Facebook Marketplace for $20 a piece and have sold two sets so far for $130 plus shipping. So Dollar General has the Scream Ghost Face mask with the tongue out. I mean, they're not like the big money ones, but still two bucks into $37.99. Like I am impressed. Okay. This is so cute. I found this at a yard sale for $3. I sat it on my shelf in the basement for a few months. I knew I better list it before it got broke with her skinny legs. Two people asked if the ribbon was hiding any repairs because apparently they came without ribbons. No chips or cracks, which is amazing to me. $3 into 91. I'll take that any day. It's a mid-century modern deer figurine made in Japan, and it is awesome. I bought this at an estate sale for $30. The picture of the item pre-sale listed about six marbles of German Schulpied, which many are old and worth a lot of money. So when I went, I grabbed three, this one being the biggest of two and three fourths with a Native American and headdress inset in, in the marble. What? It's a marble? After researching at home, I realized this was not a German Sulpide, but contemporary since the headdress was not part of the Sulpide typical inserts. I listed anyway, bidding starting at 50, hoping to just get my money back. Had a bidding war and ended up selling for 393 because there's not another one like it, and it was just the right buyer. It reminded her of her uncle that recently passed away. He collected marbles and also collected Native American items. Wow, a marble. A marble. <laughs> I'm like, that's incredible. Found these pencils at my local Goodwill. They were in a display case by the register, which I rarely look at. The pencil box looked vintage, so I asked to look at them. Saw all the pencils were in there and all were unsharpened, so I bought for $4. These were unusual, had brown shafts instead of yellow, Put them on auction starting at $175 and the winning bid was $233.99. I received positive feedback, which sealed the deal. And these were a great bolo. Awesome. Yes, vintage, pen vintage pencils for sure. I bought this from a friend that was cleaning out her closet. I never even heard of this brand, Johnny Was, until I started watching Bolo Buddies on YouTube. Yay! I paid $10 and my asking price was $229. I accepted a $200 offer. I may have priced it too low. I'm still learning, but I was happy with the $200. And this is what it looks like. So I have never, ever sold a Johnny Was item, but I have talked about it. And I have talked about it because many of you have talked about it and I have featured your bolos. So that is what I love about featuring other bolo items because I don't sell some of these things. I don't do clothing, but I still can bring it to you through other people and we can all learn together. And that's how she learned about this. So that is awesome. Bought for $6.99 at the American thrift store for about six months ago. It took me longer to list due to traveling. It didn't take long to sell it through probably a month. I also took a best offer of 75 plus shipping. They are vintage kike. K-I-K, girl pants, women's size small, made in the USA, 90s TLC. This is what they look like. I'm new to this hobby, but I found the pair on the side of the road for free and just sold Santa alone for 80 bucks. I'm loving this. Also learning the ropes of eBay. So they're blow molds, Christmas blow molds, definitely a bolo. My first exciting sale was a vase. I bought it at a yard sale for a dollar. I did what you said and started it on auction and I put it at a buy it now for a hundred and somebody offered me 60. It's a clay vase and it does have a signature on the bottom, but I couldn't make it out who it was. I'm also making good on an old Nintendo DS games that my adult children 
had when they were kids. And so it shows $25, but it's actually sold for 60. This one comes from Bolo Buddies member Trading Post Pickers. This is their YouTube channel. Picked up six rolls for $10 at a local thrift store. These three, $5 each, sold for 141 plus shipping within 24 hours. It's foil Christmas department store gift wrap. How awesome is that? And uh, Noelle Farm Girl Scavenger has uh, sold this foil Christmas wrap. And um, it was a while back, but oh my goodness, hers sold for crazy money. But she had like the big department store rolls that were like massive. These look to be a little bit smaller, but a fantastic buy for sure. Trading post pickers. This one comes from Franklin Hill Ventures, and he is over on Whatnot selling a lot. So he's kind of put YouTube to the side for now. So go follow Franklin Hill Ventures on whatnot but he also has booths like a flea market booth that you you know the booths anyway he said paid 25 at a yard sale for this print of the mabry hazen house which is in knoxville sold in my west end antique booth antique booth that's what it's called for 125 and this is what it looks like got this for five dollars at a yard sale over the summer thought it was just a Sega Genesis. And upon research, it's a rather rare gaming console. Needed to purchase a power cord for about seven. And this is what it looks like. It is a JVC XI console with controller, games great condition, $430 for that. Don't know if this qualifies since this was among the boxes and boxes in the attic. When I listed it and sold it on Mercari, oh wait, when I listed it and sold, try again. When I listed it and Mercari told me I should list it for well over 200, I was way too skeptical. So I timidly listed it for 220. I turned down several offers of 100, 250, but took the first offer of 200. I had waited, if I had waited, I probably could have gotten my full asking price, but being a new seller, I was completely satisfied. It's a Pokemon Soul Silver version figure bundle for DSCIB includes. I don't know, but that's what it is. I will tell you on Mercari, the suggested value and eBay, I don't go by that. Like if it's higher than what I was going to list it at, I definitely, it's like, you know, I'm going to look it up, but always, always search solds because you just never know. But that sold on Mercari. This here, I... Uh, bought this ugly sweater at a garage sale for $2. The brand is Just Better Sweater by Lisa Kaufel. As soon as I listed it, I received a $200 offer. I let the auction run and sold the sweater for $299. It is this right here. It looks like it's a nativity scene. Pick this up for free in a box of items someone set out for a giveaway. Sold on Thanksgiving Day for asking price of $80. It's a vintage four-piece set of Lena Lou's Hummingbird Treasury Collector. And this is what it looks like. Okay. This one comes from Follow Me for Fantastic Finds. And this is her eBay store. Been cleaning out my grandparents' property and found this in a box. So free to me. Sold it to a gentleman in Kentucky for his wife's collection for $50. It's a beautiful knife and buyer left a sweet review. It's a Franklin Mint Harley Davidson folding collector's pocket knife. And this is what it looks like. Pick two pair of Tory Burch sandals up at my local church thrift store for a dollar each pair. Sold the first pair for $125 on Poshmark. Haven't listed the second pair yet. Just recently started selling on eBay like in the last month. This is what they look like. 125, Tory Burch is a fantastic brand. I bought these Octonaut Vegemoles in a bag of other small toys. Those were what I actually wanted for about a dollar. Posted on Mercari and eBay after using Google Lens to identify. Got several lowish offers, but held strong at 50 after searching sold comps. Sold full price on eBay in two weeks for $50. Yes, um, uh, Octonauts are great. If you can find the little veggie malls or whatever they're called, they look like vegetables. Uh, definitely a nice little bolo. 
This one comes from Cat Feelin' Thrifty. This is her eBay store. And I am gonna zoom in, which means get really close to my computer so I can read the small print. It is a Henry Bendel, and I have sold this brand, New York Star Rhinestone Necklace. Purchased a lot of jewelry from Donatella Bottolino. Um, that's her YouTube channel, Donatella Bottolino. If you don't know, head over here. She sells to resellers, and I buy from her, and she is incredible. But you guys hear me say that all the time. Um... Took a best offer of 30 plus shipping. Should have held out for full price, but I will in the future. Um, $38 is what she had it listed for and took 30. Now, Henry Bendel is a fantastic brand. Some of it goes for big money. If you see that brand, definitely look it up. I think they make purses and other things too. Um, but yeah, definitely be on the lookout. This also came from Donatella Bottolino's Jewelry. She said, I have cents in this, like cents as in like pennies. Uh, chain only, took a best offer of 27 plus shipping. And the chain says vintage uh, Tiffany and Company necklace. And it's just the chain. And this is what it looks like. All right, we have one here. And this one comes from Stellar Seller Sam YouTube channel. This is what it looks like. She said, I dug these Ninjago Lego characters out of the bottom of the Goodwill bins. That's my kind of girl, digging those toys out of the bins. Paid cents for them. Again, pennies. They sold for $37 on auction and they paid the shipping. And this is what it looks like. And that's it, guys. That completes all of the bolos for this video. What did you think? Which one was your favorite? Tell me if you learned something new. Thank you so much for being here. Let me know how you found the channel. Leave me an emoji of anything, your favorite emoji. Drop it in the comments. And be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And thanks for watching.